In this video, I'm going to talk about using degrees of latitude to calculate the distance from New York City to the North Pole and to the South Pole. I'm going to be calculating the distance from the North Pole to New York City, which of course is going to be much less than the distance from New York City to the South Pole. To do this, there's a few things that I need to know. First, the location of New York City is 40, about 40.7 degrees north, 74 degrees west. Now, the longitude of New York City isn't relevant in this problem. What's important is that the latitude is approximately 40.7 degrees north. And what this means is from the center of the Earth, the angle between the equator and New York City is 40.7 degrees. 40.7 degrees. Now, the North Pole is, of course, if you think about it, going to be 90 degrees north. The angle between the equator and the North Pole is 90 degrees. And the South Pole as well, that angle is 90 degrees. The latitude of the South Pole is 90 degrees south. There's one more piece of information we'll need, and that's the radius of the Earth. And the radius of the Earth is about 3,959 miles. And in the diagram that I have on the screen, that shows up in four different locations. Using this information, we'll be able to calculate the distance from New York City to the North Pole and New York City to the South Pole. Let's begin. First, the distance from New York City to the North Pole. The relevant part of the diagram that we just discussed is on the screen now. We're trying to find the distance from the North Pole to New York City. It's a curved distance. The Earth is curved. And what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on this sector of the circle that I'm outlining in red, this sector. And in that sector, in that sector, we have two radii, two radii, and they're both 3,959, the approximate radius of planet Earth. The distance from the North Pole to New York City is the arc length of this sector. Now we need an additional piece of information, and that would be the central angle of this sector, the central angle of this sector. We have enough information to find that central angle, which I'll call theta, Theta would be the difference between the North Pole's latitude and New York City's latitude. The difference, in this case, that difference is 90 minus 40.7. The difference between the latitude of the North Pole and New York City. And what we'll do is we'll take that difference and we'll substitute it for theta in the arc length formula for the sector of a circle in degrees, which is S equals theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Now, 90 minus 40.7 is 49.3. Substituting that into this arc length formula, we get S equals, and this S is the distance between New York City and the North Pole. 49.3 divided by 360 times 2 times pi times 3,959. That product is about... 3,407 miles. Now there's a lot of approximations here. The, the radius of the Earth was approximated. The latitude of New York City, 40.7 degrees, is approximate. And pi is an irrational number as well. So when I do this product in the arc length formula, I'm not getting the exact, exact distance from New York City to the North Pole, but it is approximately 3,407 miles. Now let's talk about New York City's distance to the South Pole. To find this distance from New York to the South Pole, we're going to again use a sector of a circle. This sector will be larger as the distance from New York City to the South Pole is larger than New York City to the North Pole, but it's still a sector. And the sector that we're dealing with, the sector we're dealing with, it's like this. The central angle is going to be larger. The central angle, which I'll again call theta. This time it's not the difference between 90 and 40.7. You can see that this central angle would be the sum of 
and 90 degrees. This is a sum this time. New York City and the South Pole are in different hemispheres. And to find this angle theta, we would have to add 40.7 and 90 degrees. And that sum is 130.7 degrees. So here we have a sector of a circle where the radius is 3959. The central angle is 130.7 degrees. And the arc length, which will represent the distance from New York City to the South Pole, is S. Again, we're going to use the arc length formula for a sector of a circle in degrees. Theta we know to be 130.7, so we'll do that substitution. And we can approximate the distance from New York City to, south, to the South Pole with this product. 130.7 over 360 times 2 times pi times r, which is 3,959, the approximate radius of the Earth. This product is about 9,031 miles. Again, this is an approximation. It's fairly close, but it's an approximation. The distance from New York City to the South Pole, about 9,031 miles.